Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, yesterday we covered some of the Rainbow High runway leaks. There was one that was posted by the official Rainbow High account showcasing Skylar, and there was one of Poppy from Vinted. That was the name of the website. I didn't remember it in the video yesterday. Well, today a store in Thailand has revealed that they have all seven dolls. That's right, there's seven of them. Amaya's in this line. So with that said, we're going to be talking about each one of them individually, and thank you to all 50 of you who actually sent me photos of Jade. It's still going. You guys are still doing it, even now. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for the commitment to the bit. I do think it's very funny. So with all of that said though, let us begin. To start us off, I'm gonna be a bit self-indulgent and we're going to talk about Jade first. I'm sure she's the one you guys wanna hear me talk about most anyway. We all agree that Jade is the best runway look. So right out of the gate, I'm just gonna say, the way they did the lightning is fine. It's not the greatest, but I mean, like, how else were they supposed to do it on a playline budget? I feel like it's fine, it makes sense. And, allegedly, the light- the dress is supposed to have LED lights. Uh, this is from the Dolly News on Twitter, but they're also on Instagram and stuff. So, um, yeah, this dress is allegedly uh, supposed to have LED lights, according to her listing. So... You know, that'd be pretty cool if that did stick around. It's not like MGA has never, like, done light-up clothing before. They did a long time ago for the Bratz Funk and Glow line. And I know, that's a very long time ago. Funk and Glow came out all the way back in the early 2000s, like 2000... I want to say three? Maybe 2000... No, it's probably 2003. So it's a very old line, but they do have experience with it, technically, so who knows? So in terms of Jade herself, she has a gorgeous face. I absolutely adore the makeup, I love the black lipstick, and her hair looks really nice as well. I like the length of it, it's very long and it looks good. But I don't think I see the chains. Um, in her original runway look in the show, she had two chains, or like multiple chains, surrounding her ponytail. Maybe she does have some and we just can't see them from this photo, but I'm not seeing them here. I do hope that she does actually have those, because it's a big part of her look, as well as all of the hair clips and such. She does seem to have the majority of them, but again, this photo isn't the best, so we can't make out each individual, like, hair clip. But her hair looks good, looks very nice, and I do overall like her dress and her boots. The boots look super nice, and I'm assuming they're fabric shoes, because that's just what we expect from Rainbow High at this point. They look super good. and. As for her second outfit, which is a bit difficult to see, there's a lot of reflections of the people taking the photos covering it. She kind of seems to have a similar, um, I would say, hoodie to Emmy Vanda's, if you guys remember Emmy from Series 3, with a lot of embroidered on things. The, uh, is that a skirt? I don't know, but the uh, snakeskin skirt is pretty cute as well. Overall, we just need a better look at this stuff. I like what I'm seeing and the uh, book at the top showing off the um, sketches for her design. I love that. I love the inclusion of that. All of the dolls actually have that. It's really nice. Overall, I'm going to give Jade a 10 out of 10 because I see no reason to take any points off. She's my favorite. I'm biased. I love this look. 10 out of 10 from me. Next up is Ruby. I am just kind of putting these in the order I have them saved to my phone. So, um, yeah, Ruby. I'll admit, I was never the biggest fan of her runway look. I just thought it was kind of goofy with the veil on the black beanie. Again, I don't think a beanie should have a veil on it, but it was a unique concept, you know? And then the way her sweater turned into a big dress, that was kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to be able to be recreated on the doll. It looks like they're making it seem like it can be, but I feel like it's not actually possible. Um, she's all right. I like the top part of her dress. That's always been a piece that I liked. Um, her second outfit looks really good as well. I really like the black studded leather jacket and the red dress. It's a very like plain red dress, but it's cute. Overall, I think I like those pieces, mostly because I could see myself using them for other dolls. Yeah. It's very cute, though. I could definitely see myself getting this doll when she's on sale, because while I'm not the biggest Ruby fan, I do actually like her. And this doll has a very pretty face. 
I'm gonna give her a 7 out of 10. Just because, again, I'm not the biggest fan of her runway look. Next up, we have Amaya Rain. As you guys know, she was also in this line. Her dress, her second dress, looks exactly the same as the dress that her, like, um, hairstyle doll, her original doll, comes with. That's a little disappointing. Like, since everyone's getting, like, a new second outfit, kind of, it's just kind of sad to see Amaya basically get the same dress she had before. Um, her runway dress looks really good. I think they did a good job recreating it, and it looks pretty. Um, the hair looks a little boring. It's cute. I just feel like she's got a bit of a five head going on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm a hater. But, um, maybe if she had, like, a headband or just, like, something on her head. I just, I don't know. I feel like there's not enough going on up there. Um, she's cute, though. She's all right. She includes a purse because unlike the other dolls in the line, she is one of the few that has only one clothing accessory, like for her second outfit, she just has the dress. So they ended up including a purse for her as well. I think that's cute. They did the same thing for Skywear as well. It's a nice looking purse. Again, I like the sketchbook at the top. She's good. I think I'm gonna give her an eight out of 10. Cause again, I like her. I just feel like she needs something on her head. I just feel like she needs something up there. And next, we move on to Violet, who, she's really pretty. <laughs> she's really pretty. They did a really good job on this doll. I'll admit, Violet's uh, runway look was one of the most underwhelming when it initially was revealed. Just because, you know, it's a bit of a boring dress. And then all that was, all that her transformation was, was gaining an extra, like, tear to her dress. <laughs> that was it. It's cute though. It is a cute dress and I like the second outfit as well. The little um, purple dress is super cute. I like the fur coat. It's nice. I also like the sketchbook at the top though. I can't see it as clearly as the other characters. Don't know why. She seems to have some accessories in her hair as well. It looks like hair clips or something. I don't know, but I do really like this Violet. We've already seen Violet with an updated face because of her costume ball doll, but like, you know, this one looks really good. I like her. She does seem to still have the pink tips at her brows, potentially. That or they're just faded. I don't know. But I like her. I think I'm going to give this doll maybe an 8 out of 10 as well. Because I enjoy her a lot. You know, maybe the reason I like Violet is probably because she has a bit more of an intricate hairstyle going on. And then Amaya, it's just a ponytail. Yeah. If Amaya had, like, something going on, like, maybe two little pieces of hair at the front of her, you know, like when, what am I trying to say? Think of like how Daria looks in the show, how she's got those two pieces of hair from her like part line, something like that. I don't know, but uh, I like Violet, eight out of 10. And next we have Sunny. So Sunny's hair is a bit messy here. I'm not gonna fault her for that too much, but I do really like the pigtail hairstyle on her. It's just gonna be difficult to pick one that has like neatly kept pigtails because I am terrible, personally, at wrapping hair around a pigtail or a ponytail like that. I'm just so garbage at doing it. I just, I can't do it. I suck at it. So I try to keep my dolls in their stock hairstyles when I can. So, you know, it's just going to be one thing to look out for, making sure the doll has neat and not messy hair. Everything else, though, I really like. Um, this doll is a bit more difficult to see just because of the reflections, again, on the package are, like, really showing here. But her second outfit, interestingly enough, is actually one that she has worn in the show before. Everyone else seems to have gotten something new, but Sunny got that recolored violet dress and that recolored poppy jacket that she wears in the show sometimes. It's cute for her. I just think it's kind of strange because everyone else got like a new outfit. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems random. They're like, all right, let's give Sunny her recolor outfit, but everyone else, we're going to give something new. Just, I don't, I don't get how they decided on that. They did such an amazing job on her dress, though. Like, the, they even managed to do, like, the little, like, falling raindrop diamonds things. That's adorable. The dress looks amazing. The shoes, I never realized how plain the shoes were. But it's cute. I also noticed on the front of her package, there's a bunch of, like, little, like, there's a teddy bear. There's, like, melty hearts, diamonds and stuff. Does everyone else have stuff like that? Oh yeah, Maya has a rainbow, Violet has 
something. And uh, Ruby has an arrow, and Jade has lightning and chains. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't notice that before. So, Sunny is probably one of my favorite dolls from the line, just because how intricate her dress is. Again, it's like such an amazing piece. She was actually one of the main reasons I was worried we would never get runway dolls, just because of how complicated her dress looked. But MGA managed to pull it off. Did it take over a year? Over... Has it, has it been two years, actually? It took a while. It took a while, but at least we're getting these dolls. It looks great. Like, honestly, they did an, an amazing job on this dress. I see no reason to give Sunny a score lower than 10 out of 10, so that's exactly what I'm going to give her. A 10 out of 10 from me. I'm just kind of going to breeze through this one because we already talked about Poppy yesterday, but I do still like her. Though, I will admit, it feels like there's too much of the black part of the wings from the Monarch Butterfly on her dress. It just feels like the dress is sort of overwhelmed by that. It doesn't look bad, but it does look weird to me. Is that how it looked in the show? I don't remember. But um, I really like her hairstyle. I love all the butterflies in her hair. I love the butterfly heels as well. I've seen a close-up of them, but obviously it's kind of hard to see one here. But trust me, they look amazing. They're a very, very good pair of shoes. I don't really like her second outfit. I've seen a lot of people say that they do like it, but it's just kind of plain to me. It doesn't really look like something Poppy would wear either. I don't know. I'm still going to give this doll a 9 out of 10, though. I adore her. And then we're on to Skylar. So I lumped these two together just because we already talked about them yesterday, but this is our first time seeing Skylar actually wear her runway dress. Again, I'm not really impressed. <laughs> I know I seem like a Skylar hater, but again, I couldn't see myself getting this doll just because I have sold all my other Skylar dolls, and I, I obviously need to have at least one, so I could see myself buying this doll. She's cute. I love the curly hair, but in the show, when they revealed this dress, Skylar was like the only one who didn't get a transformation. Her dress just looked like this the whole time. Like, a lot of people said, oh, when the rain starts falling, the diamonds on her dress glisten more. And yeah, that's true, but are you going to really call that a transformation? It's more so just the light hitting her dress in a different way. I don't know. It just feels like they got kind of lazy when it came to Skylar. It looks good. This is a good-looking doll, and I'm going to give her an 8.5 out of 10. The only reason it's not higher is because I do not like denim. I dislike denim. That's just me. Not a fan of it. But, you know, I just feel like they could have done more for her runway look. Like, they could have at least given her a necklace or a headpiece or something, you know? But yeah, overall, she looks pretty good. So with that, we've covered the whole line. My rankings are still Jade at the top, Sunny in second place, maybe Violet in third, um, Amaya in fourth, no, Poppy in fourth, Amaya in fifth, Skylar in 6th, and Ruby dead last. I'm sorry, Ruby. Your face is gorgeous, but I just don't like that dress. Overall, I'm gonna call it here. These photos came from a toy store in Thailand, so if you live in Thailand, uh, I, I'm sure someone will comment the name of the store. I'm sorry, but I do not remember it off the top of my head. So hopefully, if you live in Thailand and you want these dolls, you'll be able to go to that store and get them. Somebody already got Poppy and they took her to Pride, which is honestly, like, awesome. <laughs> There's, like, there's photos of Runway Poppy at Pride holding a flag. It's so cute. But yeah, overall, I'm super excited for this line, and hopefully, considering that they're being found in Thailand, that means that the rest of the world won't have to wait too long. I want them to start being found in the U.S. soon, because I want to buy Jade immediately. And I do mean it this time. I'm not gonna, like, wait. I'm not gonna, like, sit there and be like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna wait until she goes on sale. No, I'm gonna get her day one. If I don't get her day one... Come back to these comments and make fun of me. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment your thoughts on these dolls. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. And as always, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!